Okay, so this is basically to fix that little red blinking light on the bottom of your LG TV that flashes like once a second or even faster than that. The uh, fact that you're watching this video tells me that you already know what you're looking for, so I'm not going to show you that on the video. So what I've done is I'm going to show you what I did to fix it. And right now, basically what we're looking at is I'm, I've got a 32-inch LG TV. That's the model number on the back. So what I'm going to do is take all the screws out. I'm not going to waste time doing that because uh, why waste time on a video showing you how to take screws out. If it's got an arrow on the back of the casing, then that's where that's the screw that you take out. So what I'm doing here basically is you look at the capacitors on here. There's one here that seems to snag. Now if you if you come person just looking at these components, you're like, what's wrong with this? There's no, there's nothing wrong with any of these things. But if you look real close, and you'll see it better later on, uh, there's one that's bowed a little bit, and that's the one that's snagging. So what I'm doing here is we're going to take the connectors off of this board. Be sure to pull on the connector, not the wires. That's way that way you don't actually pull any wires out. Now the one on the right. It's basically hard to get off. So what I in, ended up doing is taking it off at the other end. So I unhook these wires and I hook, unhook it from the other board. Take the screws out, flip the board over. And what we're looking at is this capacitor. It's a 3300 microfarad capacitor. You can see the markings on it. It's got a negative side and a positive side. You want to make sure you know that you put the new one in with the same marking on the same side because you don't want to put these things in backwards. You apply power to them, they could pop on you and explode in your face or whatever if you're looking straight at them. Now I got a new capacitor at eBay for $1.99. So that's what you want to look for. 3300 microfarad, 10 volt. I got the soldering iron and the solder at Harbor Freight, uh, $3.99 and $2.99 for the solder. So basically, I've got $10 in, in parts to fix this TV. If I take it to a uh, repair shop, they're probably going to charge $150 plus bucks. If I buy a new TV, we're talking over $200. Bucks. So what we're looking at here is the bottom side of the, the board of the capacitor we're going to replace. It's C202. And why in the heck is this video upside down? I don't know. This isn't rocket science, even though that's what I do for a living. Uh, I can't even hit the right button on my phone and turn the phone the right way. This is upside down. We're looking at C202 on this particular TV. It's right next to the standoff here. What we want to do is get a solder, that soldering iron, kind of pry this up and desolder at the same time. It's going to take both hands to, to pull this off and, and we're going to pop that capacitor out. It's really easy to come out. But you see there's actually a picture on this board showing you which one's negative, which one's positive. So the curved sides of the negative part of the capacitor. So if you flip it back over, you see there it is. Negative side of the capacitor. And actually you can see the little bow right there on the capacitor. So we're going to pop this little sucker out. I'm going to put the new one in. And here's the result afterwards. There's my little soldering job. I didn't show myself soldering. I actually did record that, but somehow another idiot here uh, got rid of that particular little video clip of me putting this capacitor in but this like I said this isn't rocket science right here so there's my soldering job so what we're going to do is we're going to mount this board back in place put the screws back on it and what I'm going to do is plug it back in now watch before remember you had the little red blinking light at the bottom I'm going to flip the switch here and what we're going to see here is click we got red it's not flashing anymore what's this what's going on what's going on I got light on my screen unbelievable you can see it through the holes here right I'm like gee whiz pile there's blue it must be a freaking genius private pile you got like an IQ of 510 or something right so I get all excited to put the back back on it put all screws in I had one left for some reason who knows why so I put all this back together, turn it back on, and what do I got here? Lights up, yeah, but it's like the blue screen of death. All I see is blue. See the light on? 
turns from red to blue. So I've actually fixed this problem here. But I got a blue screen. I got no picture. I can't move the volume up down. I can't change channels. I can't do anything. So I get the bright idea. Hey, I'm going to throw it out to the curb. I'm not going to take it in, fix it. Let me bang on the back of it. Just like old TVs, old two TVs. You bang on it with a hammer or whatever. <laughs> so I bang on this thing. Well, watch what happens. Come on. I got separate audio and, and video doing this. Turn back on, it's blue. Bang on it. You're going to see it actually flash. It's going to go, there it go, bang on it. See that flicker? That tells me something's, something's wrong. Now if you look pre at earlier in the video, when I was putting that board together and showing you the capacitor, there, there was a connector that was slightly not seated real well. That gave me an idea. So off comes the back and all those darn screws I'd take all the way back out again. Seated that connector back, put the backing back on this thing, turn the light, turn the switch on, and here's this blue. Ah! I got a picture. I got a picture. I got my little rubber ducky antenna. There's a menu. The buttons are working now. So I can't get any channels with that little rubber ducky antenna. It's, it's just as well anyway. I don't want YouTube to say I'm doing some kind of copyright infringement by showing some TV show on here. But the fact that I've got a menu, I've got a channel changer, and i got the LG little logo that's going to be popping up and bouncing around from the middle of the screen to the bottom right. I've just fixed this TV. Gee whiz, I'm a genius again. So, we spent $10 in parts. $1.99 for our capacitor from uh, Amazon. It took me about a week to get it. But this whole project only took about 30 minutes to do. And look at the money we saved and we just fixed this TV. So, I thought I'd show you this. And here in a second I'm going to show you that... Uh, I'm going to throw up a little thing from a Chromecast that shows you that actually there's that little logo that I actually got a picture on this thing and then end up in the end of the video I'll hook it up to my computer so I shows you that that part works too so unbelievable and when I put the back back on this thing I ended up with two screws left this time around where the heck those two screws come from that's the way it goes here's this Chromecast see I got my picture back all of this, don't throw your TV away. If you got that little red flashing red light for power light, no picture, no sound, no nothing, check these capacitors on that power board first. If you got a blue screen, check your connections. They could come loose. But look at the money that you save. Don't go buy a new TV. Don't throw it out to the curb. Try this out first. Save you a bunch of money. Save you a bunch of aggravation. And you'll feel pretty good that you actually fixed something yourself. So here it is on my computer. Hey, I got a little kitty cat and my little icons. This TV is fixed. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if I find anything else to fix, I'll post it sometime. But uh, there you go. Enjoy.